Today's convocation conversations is with none other than Miss Callie Day. You might know her from America's Got Talent. And let me tell you, if you missed it, you must know that Callie took them to church. So my next question was actually going to be, uh, when did you discover your gift? So it, so it sounds like you were born into this musical family. but Born into but, it. <laughs> yeah, so do you really even have memories of discovering a gift, or was it just always just kind of your way of life from the beginning? It's just the way of life. I mean, um, when we were babies, you know, we were singing before we, basically before we knew how to walk. <laughs> we were saying wow. um, first it's God given and he gets all of the glory for that I make sure and I call him daddy I make sure daddy gets his it's his gift I'm just glad that he allows me to use it that he entrusts me to bring forth his message through music so yes. whenever I sing you know I'm just you know, I always say HS, I call HS, that's Holy Spirit. Um, JC is Jesus Christ. And then I call the twins, Grace and Mercy. <laughs> and I just ask okay. for them to rest, rule, and abide with me anytime that I'm singing and that the message comes through and to remove me out of the way because it's not about me. Yes. And isn't that the case with any gift? Because every gift and every one of us has a gift that God has mm -hmm. given us. Now, most of us can't sing like Miss Callie Day, okay? But we <laughs> have something that God has given. No one on earth that God hasn't given a gift to, and it's never about us. It's yes, always about him. Because think about it. A gift is something that, that you didn't earn. It's something Although you may perfect it, it is not something that you earn. And so we can never right. be arrogant about something right. that was given to us. And right. so, yeah, that that goes along with with everything. But listen, I, I, I'm sure you know how amazing it is to have discovered your purpose and your giftings at such an early age to have the mm -hmm. privilege of a family like that because you know right. many of us we don't even you know it takes 30 years to find that out right and for some even right. longer so right I, I i'm sure you know what a blessing that was yes and and i am so thankful for my grandmother i mean she did she did she raised me so it was always, she always like, you know, let, let me know. Don't get to the point where you think you're all that in a bag of chips or don't get to the point where you start smelling yourself. You know, like it's all about me. And I never, ever want daddy's hand to be taken away from me. Yeah. Never. So where would he be? Always. Okay, so I'm always extra careful. And and I have people that get angry or kind of upset when they like, oh, you did a beautiful job. And I say, many blessings. I never say thank you. So they keep going and keep saying, you know, like I have one person to say, why don't you say that? Always keep saying many blessings. If I say thank you, to me, it's it's like, where I did this, you know, I say, you know, you know, oh, you did a beautiful job. I don't ever want to say, oh, thank you. You know, I always say many blessings. People get so angry and I don't understand that. I'm like, to me, that's like, I'm, I'm saying it was me and not him. So until the day I die, is always going to be many blessings. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And that's a good thing to speak and declare over yourself and over yes. others. Uh, I'd like to know, because, you know, of course, most of us have come to know you from America's Got Talent, but I know your journey has been vast 
and so we don't want to make any assumptions i'd like to know what would you mark as being the highlight of your journey so far mm. wow that that that's kind of interesting because it's a lot of things and I think the biggest one is when I was fired from Walmart. Mm -hmm. And I had just returned back from singing at Mississippi Boulevard, uh, opening up with a couple of my colleagues. We all opened up for Miss Yolanda Adams. Uh, she was the, the, the guest singer. And I was the last one to, to sing before she came on, on the floor. Mm -hmm. Come back, come to work, and then get fired. Wow. That day, I wasn't crying. And the video is out there. It's out there on YouTube. Everybody can find it. I wasn't crying that I got fired. I was crying because I was leaving my customers. Because I kept saying, Daddy, if you would, I would like to sing for you full time. And he knows I'm not going to leave willingly. So I get fired. Then here's where the devil wants to slide in. Oh, I bet you won't. What you going to do now? You're fired. You don't have any money coming in. Uh, you know, just all those things that were coming at me. But to see God work, I mean, to actually wake me up and see, I never said I was going to leave you or forsake you, leave you penniless or wanting anything for what I got you covered. And he has proven that to me from day one, the day I got fired in December. December 12th, 2016. Wow. That was the first day that the reality of, you know, like, oh my God, now I don't have a steady uh, paycheck coming in. Now I don't have health benefits. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Right. And, now and you're living by total faith. Yes. Straight total faith. And that was the day. That is the highlight. That right there was the biggest highlight of like, you know, you know, you hear him. He's like, I got you. I got you. Holy Spirit said, just calm down. Don't worry. Pray. If you're going to pray, don't worry. And you know, you just how have all that coming at you and you still trying to hang in there. But he's like, I got you. I got you. You know, like bills still need to be paid, car notes and stuff like that still need to be paid. No, but worries. that sounds just like God. That's the pattern of God. We always have to go down to go up. We have to lose our life to find it. You know that that is that is just the pattern of of, of scripture and the pattern of kingdom living that we have to release in order to receive. And so And see, I wasn't releasing because I was I was so worried about my customers cuz I had had a rapport with the customers, especially my seniors. You know, I had some seniors that come in, you know, "Hey Mr. So and so, how you doing? You need anything?" Shake his head. He was very quiet. Uh, is there anything I can get you? You just you just here visiting me. You want me to sing your song? And I would sing to my customers. I always sing to my customers. If it was their birthday, their anniversary, whatever. And that's how, you know, they would just come just to, you know, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing <laughs> fine. You doing okay? Yeah. Just that kind of relationship. The Lord knew I was not going to leave willingly. Cut me completely off, but I'm still able to, you know, communicate with my 
former customers, you know, because they had my phone number if they needed me for anything. So that, I would say, would be the biggest highlight of just wow. watching God work, keep me sustained thus far from December 12th of 2016 to current. And you haven't been back, right? I have not been back. I've been singing full time for the Lord since that time. Full God time. is faithful. God is faithful. And I hope there's someone watching here that may have just gotten fired or gotten some bad news or something that's happened to you. Listen, I want Miss Callie Day to be your encouragement today. Oh, yes. And so many others that knows that there's so many, uh, even millionaires and billionaires today that they would tell you that it was the day they got fired, that they were forced to start their own business, or they were forced to finally pursue their dreams, or they were forced, like Miss Callie, to now walk out on total faith and just total allow faith. God to yeah. use her gift the way he wanted to use it. Correct. And to use it full time. Mm -hmm. My goodness. And so, I have yet, I have not missed one time in paying my tithes since then. Because you know, everybody was like, well, my money's not right. It's like, I have not failed to pay my tithes. I'm telling you, pay your tithes. Stop looking at it as everybody keeps saying, oh, the, the pastor and the first lady or the church, they're going to be getting my money and all that. No. I have not missed paying my tithes. Whatever uh, any income I make, I'm paying tithes on it. If it's a dollar, there's 10 cents to daddy. There's guests to go. Listen, saints, are you all hearing this? Are you hearing this? Because I God gives to, and you know, God gives to people that he can trust. Okay. And, and this is the thing, when people say things like, well, the preachers just want your money or the pastor and the first lady, how can anybody say that? You know why? Because the preacher and the first lady didn't make up tithing. God made up tithing. That was his that. idea. That wasn't Come the preacher's on. idea. And God said to honor me with yes. your substance and the first fruits the of first all fruits. of mine in, in, increase. <laughs> that is a God idea. That's not a church idea. Come on. And so most of the people I know, and even if you do the research, Rockefeller was a tither. There's so many wow. that talk about how tithing Oh, is yes. a supernatural force yes. in their lives. And I am a witness people of God. Oh, I yes. got to know God through the time. So okay. I know what you're talking about. That's how I learned that God was real because yes. he showed it to me through his supernatural provision. And I knew it was nobody but God. So, yes. I mean, this is a journey that has been orchestrated by God, Miss mm -hmm. Callie Day. And I just have <laughs> one last question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, for you before we um, let you go, because we don't want to okay. take up all your time. Okay. But with Liberty Nation uh, mm -hmm. listening, and then all those that are going to see thousands, tens of thousands of people that are going to see this broadcast, I want to know. What was your biggest life lesson so far? Having the positive no, being able to say no. And the reason why I say that is there have been times where, you know, oh, I need you to sing here. Oh, I need you to do this. Oh, I need you. And I'm, I'm, I'm going here. I'm going there. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then you have people to tell you, oh, don't be holding God's gift hostage. No, I'm not holding God's gifts hostage. But because I never say no, it became to the factor where my health was the factor. 
Okay. And surviving four heart attacks. What? So, to the God alone, no. The positive no. Being able to say, I thank you very much, but I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say no. The positive wow. no. And not feel, not feel bad about it. Because if you don't, if I don't take care of me, he takes care of me. But if I don't take the initiative to take care of me, then the world and everybody else is going to run over. Oh, she's going to, yeah, she'll say yes. Okay, yes, yeah, she'll say yeah. Okay, no. Sometimes we have to say no. Yes, sometimes and we do. A positive no. Not to be saying, no, I don't want to do it. No, just you really have to think about you. And it was yes. it affected my health. So. It is okay to think of, about you, and then in, in up and not and and I'm using this in another sense of no, not necessarily in the sense that you're speaking, but I often like to say that many times we enable people with a yes instead of empowering them with a no, right? Right. right. So because so, sometimes no is really an empowerment on their end. Uh, but you're talking about a no that preserves yourself Correct. and Correct. that is self-love. So, so listen, people, I believe what God is saying is be, learn to be comfortable and confident with your no, whether it's a no that's going to help you or a no that's going to help them. That sometimes no is the right answer. Some, <laughs> come oh, on yes. now. Sometimes no is the right answer that is powerful i believe you just helped somebody today okay. Ms. i mean it's not it's not gonna hurt you it's either yes or no yes but don't get an attitude when we say no don't ask questions as to why we were given that we were told tell them no no, I'm sorry, we can't. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with you, but but we right. like to take it that way. You know? Yes, we, we take we get things in personal. We right. take things personal. Then sometimes if we're not solid in our own uh, right. uh, confidence and self-esteem, and if we're looking for affirmation or have some mm -hmm. things going on in the si inside of us, yes, we'll say yes when we know we should say no. Right. 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 And then Correct. put ourselves at risk in one way or the other. Correct. So, but listen, this is what I got to say. <laughs> We're so glad that you didn't tell us no. <laughs> for Holy Convocation <laughs> oh. 20. Twenty. We're we're just blessed that the Lord gave you a yes. Yes. So thank you so much, Miss Callie Day, for coming here with us today and My having pleasure. this convocation conversation. And listen, I want you all to know that you're going to have a blessed treat when you hear this woman of God sing from the heart and the spirit of God through the gift that has been given to her by God and that she has yielded unto him. This is Holy Convocation. 2020 Ladder House glory because the glory of the Ladder House shall be greater than the former. God bless you. Many blessings.